Alright, 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 it's Smashing Bob again. And this will be a nice currency strategy for um, farming in Sentinel League. Uh, this is mostly for people that are struggling with currency, that cannot get into maps, or I mean, have struggled gearing from mapping, uh, like if you're straight out of campaign or some shit like that. So if you're a super extra noob lord or just wanna uh, do some nice currency strategy, this would be it, right? So let's ex explain the currency strategy and I'm gonna show you like a small uh, example of how to do this and you know, how to go about it, right? So the only thing you need is a stalker sentinel it can be any stalker sentinel no matter how shit it is this is the shittiest sentinel i could have i, I found in my inventory uh, so it does have a uh, percent for currency reward but to be honest the currency reward is definitely the shittiest one you can have so it's really not like even nearly as good as you can easily find like they drop all the time you can definitely find something much better than uh, this crap, right? So that's why I decided to use like a really crappy one to show you that even if you have a really bad stalker, it doesn't matter. Okay, as far as the controller, you want to just take everything for the stalker sentinel, right? Every single node for the stalker sentinel except this one, right? You, you want to empower everything. Uh, and then this is the most important that the rewards are uh, better. Uh, more sentinel rewards because you want to get more sentinels when once your runs out and uh, This too you only take if you can handle it because this will make it more dangerous But also more rewarding it will uh, basically just give you a bit more a bit more items right Not a whole lot mind you. It's, it's gonna feel almost the same right next thing you need some sacrifices of dusk again This is very low investment you get 10 of these for one chaos okay it's literally uh worthless right right i would consider this a zero investment strategy just because one chaos for 10 of these is you know nothing and you're gonna be dropping this as well um so basically i'll show you you just put that in your map device you press activate and you're gonna get a wall side area uh, this small side area will be level uh, usually 69 or 70 so basically tier 2 tier 3 map and it will never have any mods right there will be zero mods so this is super safe super easy you have nothing to be afraid of on a tier 2 map with no mods right and what you do is just pop your sentinel and you just get the rewards right so at first it might, depending on how the RNG goes, it might not look like super valuable, but basically a way to empower the enemies, right? And you just grab whatever rewards uh, drop down, right? Now I am uh, on our uber strict, wait, let me maybe put uh, very strict, okay? We're gonna go, so we can at least see a bit more, right? Uh, Alright. So, nothing much on the first one, but that's okay. As I said, you know, you need a couple of runs before you drop anything of value, right? Uh, so, what's going to happen, uh, I have made here a stash tab, I'm going to disable my affinities. And I'm going to run this for exactly 10 minutes, starting from now, so until 45. Just to show you how much currency you can make in just 10 minutes doing this okay if you want to just uh skip to see the results i guess you know you can just fast forward the video to 10 minutes in right
otherwise you can stick around and you know watch this amazing adventure unfold before your eyes so we only got two chaos orbs that's really nice and this league blast orbs i think are one chaos or maybe half a chaos but they're quite valuable so we'll put that on the side as well i think and then we'll check nice jewelry recombinator uh, this is what exactly why we take more likely to have sentinel rewards sentinel rewards are definitely really really strong if you get a stalker that uh, has a chance to add more sentinel rewards that's always a good one as the recombinators are pretty much all of them are worth five chaos plus and especially if you have a bulk, then they're worth almost like some of them are 10 chaos. I think the weapon ones are 10 chaos in bulk. So as long as you have like 10 of them or something, I think they're 10 chaos each, right? But already a pretty good start, so that's another. I'm not sure what's the jewelry if you just have one, right? Is it 5 chaos or something like that? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, there's some guys that really want to sell fast. Probably a lot of these are already bought out, right? Um, but yeah, I would say 4 chaos and you sell it almost immediately, right? So we would say 4 chaos. We only got 7 chaos, right? And a bunch of random crap, right? And, and we've been doing this for like 2 minutes, right? Another chaos swarm. We got some panda sentinels, which we don't need right now. I dash over, please, game. No? What? Dash? There we go. Nice, three Astragalis. Astragalis are two chaos each, at least in bulk. There might be like one chaos if you have just a couple of them to sell them fast, try. Right? So let's count them as one chaos. So that's another three chaos, right? And another two chaos. Uh, and a bunch of crap. And we go next, right? Ooh, a divine orb. Let's go. And we got some fossils. Fossils are good. Nothing wrong with a fossil or two. Alright. Another one done. How much are we in? We are like four minutes in, so six more minutes. Let's speed this up a little bit. You need to make some money here in this 10 minutes, right? So obviously the wine is valuable. Power core is like one chaos, I think. Deploy. So another benefit to using this, because uh, obviously you could do this strategy in maps, right? But. Uh, if you just use the Stalker Sentinel and then portal out on the map, right? You're still wasting a map, right? And pretty much every map is worth at least one chaos. So here you have much less investment, right? In, in terms of that and that you're not wasting a map for no reason, right? There we go, another pure chaos orb. Some random shit div cards. Right. Fuses. 
is. Scab. Oh, nice. So this is probably like a couple of kills for sure. We got four more minutes. Sentinel. Just gonna go next. Into the shingle. Oh, an almond orb. That's probably like four or five chaos, right? It's a nice one. Crappy chisels. Oh. Some sacrifices, that's good. So an almond orb, that's probably like five cows, right? Or maybe four cows at least. That's nice. Random crap. Power core. Oh, we're out of the stalker. Okay, it's 44. Okay, we're gonna end one minute earlier because my stalker ran out. Right? So. Let's also destroy the shitty stalker. So basically, as you can see, this is nine minutes of farming just one stalker right into the frags. Right now, we're gonna disregard most of the shit on the side, right? And look at just the, the good stuff, right? That's one chaos plus. So we got seven pure chaos orbs, we got three astragalis, which are like two chaos each. Uh, but even, I think when you have only a little bit, I want to sell them, you're probably going to sell them for one chaos. So, let's say this is another three chaos, that's ten chaos. Uh, this is probably like five chaos at least, so fifteen. We got a divine orb, that's ten chaos, so twenty-five chaos. Uh, blessed orbs are pretty valuable this league. Uh, I'm not sure if they're like one chaos each. Yeah, they are almost a little bit less than one chaos actually. And then we got a Norman Torb, which is what, um, in singles it's 5 chaos, so that's 5 chaos, right? I kind of lost count, but th this is like 30, 30 chaos-ish, right? 40 maybe, with everything else included, right? Because we didn't get, we got a, a decent amount of scars, but none of the good ones. These are all the crappy ones. If we got an Expedition or an Ambush, that would be very uh, valuable, a few chaos, right? Uh, but yeah, as you can see, this is, you know, if you do this for an hour, right, you could e easily make a couple of exalts, just using the shittiest sentinel you have. That's how easy it is, right? It's that easy, right? Because I didn't count any of the shitty currency, right? I just counted the good stuff that, that would probably sell fast. Okay, maybe bl one blast orb wouldn't sell fast, right? But obviously it wouldn't just stop after 10 minutes, so you might gather a bulk of some of this stuff, right? But these are stuff that would go in singles uh, for, you know, one chaos uh, at least, right? 
I'm not sure if the power cores, maybe that's under one cast down. Yeah, okay, maybe we'll get a bit of that as well. And augmenting is also just one cast actually right now in singles, right? Uh, but these power cores are combinators and sentinel rewards you will get rather uh, often right because of the increased chance for sentinel rewards, right? Um, so you will probably wait until you have at least 10 of these and then sell them sell them at a good price, right? But yeah, you could easily make a couple of exalts just doing this, right? As long as you, you uh, sell off the crap, right? Oh yeah, wait, uh, affinity, right? That's what I wanted to do. Alright, let's get rid of all this shit. There we go. So yeah, that's how easy it is, right? Just put, it, put in a random stalker, bam, go run some sack frags, and you can make a lot of currency very fast. Um, now obviously it's not gonna be as good as maybe some mapping strategies etc but if you're struggling to get into maps this is a very nice and easy strategy to do all right well thank you for watching boom and uh, bye bye